Hi, everyone. My name's Ryan, and uh, I have uh, an idea that I wanted to share with you today on a creative way to teach symmetry. Um, I have uh, the YouTube channel Teaching Smarter. If you found me through that, or if you just Googled, you know, a, a video on teaching symmetry. Um, but if you if you search me out through my YouTube channel, uh, I named it Teaching Smarter because I believe that um, using technology is a smarter way of teaching. And the tagline underneath is that pixels affect perception. And I believe that using pixels can affect positively the way students perceive lessons. Um, the idea that I want to show you today is uh, a creative way to teach symmetry. I did uh, a lesson uh, last week, actually, on uh, using the Taj Mahal to teach uh, symmetry. And this is another way, uh, and I'm going to use a few castles to, to try and teach it, uh, get the message across. Uh, I'm teaching out of Ontario, Canada. Uh, this is the Ontario expectation, the math expectation for um, grades, one, grades two through six. And you can see the highlighted uh, the word symmetry in each of the expectations. It's uh, lumped inside the geometry strand. And uh, whether you're in the U.S., you know, with the Common Core standards, or if you're in one of the provinces across Canada, or even if you're internationally, symmetry is something that's commonly taught. So um, to, do, uh, to do the lesson, um, I will erase that, and I'll show you how you can find it. Uh, my name is Ryan Tyndale, and uh, the article that I wrote was for Canadian Teacher Magazine. If you click on that, I did one uh, using ideas for ideas for using tablets in the classroom. The one that I want to try today is moving and Googling in math class. So if you click on that and uh, you go down here, it's it's looking symmet finding symmetry in buildings around the world. And uh, I had one idea to use schools in your district. I have another one to use soccer stadiums from the World Cup. And the third one that I had, which is actually up here, uh, is about castles. And I wrote that there's something magical about castles. And oftentimes, you'll see that they're symmetrical. So I have um, four castles that I wanted to show you uh, just to get the idea of symmetry across. The first one is actually not a castle. I th initially thought it was. I googled some of the most famous castles in the world, and this one was frequently on uh, lists. But I did a little bit of research, and uh, it's actually a monastery that um, uh, monks and hermits would visit on pilgrimages across Europe. So what I'm going to do is uh, copy, and I have Google Earth open here. I'm going to paste it up in the top. And we're actually right down in here. This is where I live, uh, right down in Ontario. We're right above Lake Ontario. But um, we're going to hop on our little airplane and we're going to zoom across the Atlantic to France. Okay, so here it is here. Now, I don't have my 3D buildings clicked off, which is down here. But uh, what we'll do watch what happens you see how that pops up if I unclick it it disappears to a 3d flat map where and if I click it it pops up so just looking at this building here you can see that uh, it's not symmetrical I mean I'm looking at the building right in here the actual uh, monastery you can see that it's not it's not um, symmetrical. It is fortified, uh, which is an aside. It was fortified um, for uh, as as a stronghold, as a place of refuge for people during times of war, but um, it's not uh, it's not symmetrical, which is really what we're looking at today. Um, if I divide this line down the middle, you can see that this rectangular part, you wouldn't see that over here. Uh, if we zoom to the side, scroll out a little bit, you can see from this angle here, it's not symmetrical. 
the challenge would be for students to scroll around and see if there would be a line of symmetry at some point. But um, just as you play with it, you'll, you'll see that it's not it's not symmetrical, even from above. If we zoom across, you, you don't see that line of symmetry. So this would be an example of something that of a castle or a, a, a famous historical building that is not indeed symmetrical. On the other hand, there is a castle in Germany. You can just copy and paste this right from the article. You don't have to purchase anything. You can just go right online and find it. This is a, a castle that was actually a hunting lodge for um, uh, a famous uh, German person, Mortis of Saxony, and uh, it's from the 1500s. And if you look at just the garden itself, now as a hunting lodge, you can see that it's surrounded by forest. But um, this is an artificial island. It's a man-made island. And this, uh, the gardens here are symmetrical. You can see if I divide that line down the middle, you can see that on either side, there is a point of symmetry. Uh, if we look at it from this side, horizontally, it wouldn't be symmetrical. But um, vertically, from this top down, you can see how both sides are similar. As well, if we zoom down into here, you can see that it's not, not completely symmetrical just because the building itself, there's this lumpy side, and on this side, it's not the case. The pillar, the four pillars are the same, but it's not symmetrical that way. But if we spin around and we look at it from this side, you can see that there is a line of symmetry. If we split it down the middle, it, uh, it works. What I'll do is I'll use a snipping tool and we'll cut that down the middle. Now this is not a perfect line, but be patient with me. Okay, you can see See it? It's kind of cool. If we look at even this rectangle here, the peak of the roof. And you've got two trapezoids on each side. So, you know, it's it's neat. It's neat to look. If that was as loud for you as it was for me, I apologize. Um, so anyways, go take a, go take a look at that. Uh, the third one that you can try is um, Warwick Castle, which is uh, right here. It's in the United Kingdom. And Warwick Castle is... Uh, it's a beautiful one. It was actually built by William the Conqueror in uh, the year 1068. And Warwick Castle is super cool because you can actually go inside of it with Google Street View. But if you look at it, do you see symmetry? Really from any side, do you see any line of symmetry as I spin around? It's, uh, it's not symmetrical. No, no symmetry in this at all, unfortunately. Now, if we go down and take a look inside, inside the castle walls, it's pretty amazing, a eh? 1,400-year-old castle, almost 1,400 years anyways. The stones, it's just beautiful. Um, this little guy, however, is symmetrical. This is not 1,400 years old, I promise you that. But um, you've got a color and a color. If we cut this right down the middle almost, and you can see one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, and three. So there is some symmetry in this tent, but uh, inside the castle walls, no, they're not, not symmetrical. 
this would be symmetrical though. So anyways, um, one more to check out and uh, I'm actually going to encourage you to go and explore this one yourself. It's Warwick Castle. Oh, we just did Warwick, sorry. Um, Bodheim Castle. Um, this castle is from, uh, it's a knight, a Sir Edward the Knight. It's from 1385. Um, sorry, I had to pause it. My students just walked back into the room uh, and I lost my train of thought. Um, but <laughs> going, following along with, with the idea of uh, the final castle, um, which was uh, Bodium Castle, if I pronounced that right, if I butchered it, I'm sorry for all the castle scholars listening. Uh, it's uh, it's really a beautiful castle. It's a moated castle, actually, and uh, it was built by Sir Edward the by Sir Edward in 1385. Um, what I'm going to encourage you to do is to go into Google Earth and um, click in Bodian Castle and uh, find out for yourself if it's symmetrical or not. Another neat one to do is Windsor Castle, uh, which was built by uh, William the Conqueror as well. Um, that one is a, is a neat one uh, to check out. But uh, anyways, uh, Windsor Castle, uh, but specifically Bodium Castle, which, uh, which I gave in the article as well. So anyways, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe if uh, you're interested in following some of the videos that I put out. And uh, I hope that you remember to to teach smarter. Thanks kindly for listening and uh, have a nice day. Bye-bye.